Oh, no, hey guys, sorry I pricked myself on this thing. Looks kind of dangerous, right? Well, that's because it is. Watch out, because here comes the horned melon. And guess what? It's edible. Crazy, right? I know. But so is everything else on this week's list. The 10 most fascinating foods that people eat. The horned melon. We're kicking off the list with none other than the horned melon itself, AKA the jelly melon, Kawano, the hedged gourd, Milano, the blowfish fruit, and no, it's not a close relative of the Venus flytrap or the pricker bush either. It's actually a fruit. Native to Africa and now most prominently grown in New Zealand, the horned melon hasn't really carved a niche in Western cuisine. So I don't know what it tastes like, but we'll be finding that out at the end of this video, so stick around. Wait, what? The Mapane worm. Another crazy food found in Africa, it's eaten by millions of people. Yes, it's an actual worm. In fact, you can pick them right off of the tree. Known as the edible caterpillar, this could grow into a moth someday, but considering how protein packed and tasty they are, no. Escamoles, that's Spanish for edible ant larvae. They're harvested from roots of the agave plants, then served in restaurants. But these don't come from any ordinary ants. Oh, heck no. The Liam Metapum ant is one of the largest you'll see in North America. They're aggressive and have a strong venomous bite, making the collection of their eggs the absolute worst food service job ever. With a consistency that matches that of nutty cottage cheese, it's often eaten in tacos. Guacamole meet Escamole. Protein chip. Here's a protein source you wouldn't expect, chips. Yes, crunchy, delicious potato chips. Mmm, oh god, I love potato chips. Okay, fine, whatever. By the work of some bold future magic, Quest has somehow put protein in a chip. Fascinating. Hmm. Fried tarantula. Also known as aping, this Cambodian delicacy is the kind of thing that kids ask their parents for. Mass amounts of tarantulas starting landing in walks during the widespread food shortages of the brutal Khmer Rouge regime in the late 1970s. Cambodians realized that their crafty survival skills had provided them with a tasty new treat. But it's not just for nutritional value, as many Khmer women believe that eating aping makes one beautiful. Do you think I'm beautiful? Okay. <laughs> Dirt. That's right, dirt, fresh from the ground. Mmm. If you're a proud mother watching this, then you might know what I'm talking about. Scientists haven't pinned down an exact reason for pica, the craving and consumption of non-food items, most commonly by pregnant women. It's either a response to mineral deficiencies or an instinctive form of parental protection, even a possible remedy for morning sickness. Ah, you see kids? Mom really would do anything for you. Fugu. You like seafood? Careful around this fish. The fugu or Japanese blowfish are believed to be the second most poisonous vertebrates in the world, but people still love to eat them. The international standard regulating fugu permits only chefs with three years of rigorous training to prepare the fish in restaurants. The delicate process of removing toxic parts from the fish causes dozens of amateur chef deaths every year, so don't try this at home. Sanokji. Since we're moving into seafood, I've got to tell you about sanokji, or what the Koreans call baby octopus legs. And you know they're fresh because they're still wriggling around when they're served to you. Talk about a succulent dish. <laughs> I'm sorry. Casu marzu. This rotten Italian dish is quite literally that, rotten. Rotten cheese. Well, rotten cheese filled with larvae, on purpose. The larvae promotes an advanced level of fermentation, breaking down the cheese's fats into a soft, juicy texture. But the larvae, oh yeah, they're still there. When disturbed, they can launch themselves up to six inches in the air. Right into your mouth if you want, weirdo. Baloo. Brace yourselves, this one tops every list for a reason. We love to eat poultry, we love to eat eggs, but what about something halfway in between? Well, balut is a developing duck embryo that is boiled and eaten from right inside the shell. It's regularly sold as street food in the Philippines and is common throughout Southeast Asia. Apparently, it tastes a lot like chicken and nightmares. And that's the list. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, trying this thing. Ooh, it's green. Oh god, it tastes like cucumber and kiwi. Anyway, yeah, the thing developed horns over millions of years of evolution and crossed the world to taste not so good. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and of course, click that red subscribe button to get awesome new videos just like this one every week. We will see you next time.